Abstract All professions, accounting included, are guided by ethical standards. Since accountants and CPAs are viewed as trustees to third parties, they should act in good ways to protect the interests of their clients. In addition, these professionals make decisions that should be founded on ethical judgments. This research aims at describing ethics in the accounting profession. It shows that psychologists recommend professionals to take three steps to make ethical decisions in their work. It also discusses the impact of legislation, such as the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, on the ethical conduct of practitioners in the accounting profession. Finally, it documents that accountant organizations and as well as individual companies formulated ethical guidelines that support professional accountants. Keywords, ethical standards, accountants, CPAs, trustees, research, legislation, and organizations. Ethics and accounting. Ethics and accounting refers to a code of conduct or a collection of beliefs that specify what is right, unfair, and wrong. The accounting profession is founded on a platform of morals and ethics that dictate how practitioners conduct themselves. Accountants and CPAs should adhere to codes of conduct since they act as trustees to their clients or third parties. Duska, Duska, and Curry, 2018, state that investors and creditors make decisions after analyzing financial reports or statements prepared by accounting professionals whose judgments should be guided by facts and ethical frameworks. Several accounting principles do not spell out the actual rules and decisions that the professionals should adopt, rather, they state that accountants and CPAs should make decisions based on their judgments, Shaver and Miller, 2017. This research paper describes ethics in the accounting profession. West, 2018, says that psychologists advise accountants and CPAs to take three steps to make a moral decision. First, they should determine the ethical concerns of a situation. For instance, auditors could have commercial relationships with their audit firms. These relationships should be recognized as potential ethical issues. Second, they should evaluate the options and results. In this context, the auditors might impair their judgments to make their clients' organizations succeed. Notably, these related interests could become conflicts of interest when they find out that companies are not doing well. They would be torn between carrying out the right auditing procedures and doing anything they can to make the firms look like they are doing fine. Third, accountants and CPAs should make decisions. Auditors, for example, should decide to stop working for the clients in the illustration above, West, 2018. In addition, they can opt to conceal their relationships and go on working for them. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act, often known as SOX, states that management teams of firms must certify the extent to which financial statements are accurate. Penalties for fraudulent activities in the accounting profession have been made more severe by the Act. In addition, SOX raised the level of oversight roles of boards or directors as well as the independence of external auditors who are tasked with the role of reviewing how firms' financial statements are accurate. This Act has 11 sections and it was adopted to react to several corporate as well as scandals such as those that impacted Enron, WorldCom, and Adelphia, West, 2018. These scandals resulted in the loss of money by investors and creditors since share prices of the involved commercial organizations declined. Moreover, public confidence concerning the securities markets in America was negatively impacted. Accountants and CPAs should always stick to ethics because good ethics translates into excellent businesses. Commercial enterprises that pay attention to ethics in the accounting profession do better than those that adopt unethical practices, and the former are perceived more favorably by their consumers and clients. Accounting bodies have developed codes of ethics for their members. The Institute of Management Accountants, for instance, has developed such codes that its members should follow in their practice, Shaver and Miller, 2017. Apart from codes of ethics formulated by professional accounting organizations, individual firms have formulated codes of conduct that accountants and CPAs should conform to in their practice.
In conclusion, it is important for accountants and CPAs to adhere to specific codes of conduct to ensure that whatever they do is fair and right. Legislation has been essential in specifying penalties about professional misconduct in the accounting profession. Accounting professionalism that is founded on ethical standards goes a long way in preventing scandals in the corporate world.